okay, it's working. I haven't been able to get my live working all day, but I wanted to literally just uh, step foot over the border, so they won't stamp your passport. I've asked them. They don't, they don't do stamps because it's European countries. So I can't get a stamp in my passport, but I can walk across the border. So I can do my, get my foot in, in Switzerland, in case I don't get to go there tomorrow on any trips. I, I suppose I'm already in it now. So I wanted to do the Swiss border. And here is the Swiss border. I'm in Switzerland. Now I'm in Germany. Now I'm in Switzerland. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where the border is, but I've crossed over anyway. I've crossed over. It's a bit dark. It was dark when I got here, sadly. There was a delay with the train. They're mending the lines, so I've got to go and waste an hour tomorrow now checking my Sunday train to make sure I get my connection OK to Paris because the delay is this end before I catch the second train to Paris so it might make me late for my connection so I've got to go and check all that tomorrow now. So that's going to sadly waste an hour of tomorrow. But, uh, oh, uh, going back into Germany now, back into Constance. Very nice people in the in the border there, answering my very tourist question. Can you stamp my passport, please? <laughs> you looked to me like I was stupid, so there you go. Obviously, nobody gets their passport stamped anymore. Right, I'm going to go and try and find the lake now. <laughs> it's down this way somewhere, I don't know where. I came out the hotel and got lost already. Good job I've got Google Maps to find my way back. Hotels are rather well, basic, to say the least. It's more of a hostel. But it's got the bathroom in the room, so I suppose that's what matters. I think if I go down here... Although it's a bit dark for the video, I'll go the other way because there's some light. So you won't be able to see anything at all down that street. So that's another country stepped in. <laughs> Which is nice. I don't think I'm going to get to Austria thinking about it logically with having to go and get my ticket sorted tomorrow. It's already restricting my time, so I'm going to have to make do with just adding France to it, to the list on Sunday and Monday. But I found the McDonald's again. <laughs> the first thing I saw when I got off the train was a McDonald's. The easy option for food. I haven't really eaten today. I've had... Uh, Half a banana, a bit of leftover pizza from last night, and a, and a cube of chocolate. So I think I need to go and get something to eat. Otherwise, I'll be losing weight before I go on my diet. Oh. So I got a feeling the town is down this way somewhere. It must be. Thinking the way I came in. I was literally like 200 yards from the hotel and I couldn't find it, so I had to put Google Maps on to, <laughs> to get me to the door. But it has been a long, tiring day travelling and running for buses, pushing and shoving to get on the bus to get there quicker. And not quite the easy trip I anticipated. But the trains are comfortable and I found a nice uh, lady to explain what the 
ticket guy was telling me on the train, he was uh, trying to tell me about the rail works and I'd have to change and I didn't understand the word he was saying. So she jumped in and translated it for me and then they spent the rest of the last hour, I think it was, or 45 minutes of the journey. We started somebody to talk to and she was pointing at when the lake was visible through the trees for me. So it's her first time here as well apparently, but she was uh, she lives in South Germany, so I've got more idea of the uh, surrounding area than me. Oh, this must be town. All these, oh yeah, I remember walking past this before when I got lost. So I haven't brought my gimbal out, so it's a bit of a jerky video, I'm afraid. So I've literally got in the hotel, had a little bit of a wash and change of my shoes and come out, so... Ah, oh, here we go. Here's the main part here. Oh, bloody hell, surprising how close I am. Don't matter where you go, somebody always walks in front of you. Well, they do me anyway, they always walk in front of me. I'm like a magnet for it. Right, get through this bit and you see all the bright lights. I was surprised how busy it was actually when when I got off the train. So it's an extended uh, weekend or something, holiday or something in South Germany. That lady was telling me so it's quite a few people around, which hopefully means some of the boat trips will be running. So I can at least try and get on one of those tomorrow. Here we go. There we are. Bright lights. And the train station is literally around the corner to the left, so it's nice and close to the hotel for Sunday. It's more than makes up for it being a bit basic. the cross over here and then the, oh look, oldie, got an oldie right by me, that's handy. I think we're about to go on the crossing so let's just have a little run as best I can. There we go, get across there. And this is the main part. Casino. No, I'm not going in before anybody asks. Train station's over there on the right with the tower. I don't know how clear the picture is with all these bright lights. But the guy at reception gave me this ticket, says I can use it on any of the buses. So that'll be interesting. So I'll try that tomorrow. Free ticket for the buses if I need to go anywhere. Taxi rank. Won't be needing those. Oh. Not been arrested yet for talking to myself. It looked uh, quite busy down this end when, the, when I came in. It's actually, I've got a scarf on, but it's not really that cold. That's how surprised. So I thought being by the lake, it would be quite chilly. But it's not. There's an Irish pub over there. Should be able to get somewhere near the lake up here on the other side of the road in a minute. 
before I go and have uh, nine nuggets and fries. Uh, probably should have checked out the map first to see the quickest way to get to the water. But with the delay, I just didn't think to organise myself properly. Oh, it's a big McDonald's. That's definitely looking favourite for my dinner. A safe option in any city. So yes, you haven't got time to go out and be adventurous. Not very healthy, I know, but still food. And as it goes, I like McDonald's. I can't actually see if there's any comments or anything on my screen because uh, that means I have to stop and change glasses every time and I'll probably bump into people so I'm just going to walk along and chat so if anyone's saying anything I'm not ignoring you I just can't see you over here We should go and see what's down here. But it takes me round to the right and over near the water somewhere. Oh, that looks promising that sign there. And oh yeah, ferry. So there must be water along here somewhere. And go and have a look. Obviously it's going to be better in the daytime, but there might be a, a ship a ship lit up or something. I got uh, got dressed this morning. I had to uh, put my belt in the notch already, which is which is quite cool. Oh, look, there's a ship. Yay, water! There we go. The sign that you can't read because it's too bright. What's this? Oh, 702. Oh, there's boats running. According to that. This looks nice up here. We'll have a quick nosy up here. the queue so obviously the queue must be for the ship the shipping I don't know maybe it's a queue for something it's 
So, big queue, big long queue, which I'm not joining tonight. <laughs> but I bet it's lovely out there on the water at night as well. Excuse me, I just come through, please. Thank you. Oh. I would have moved if I saw somebody coming, but there again, that's me. Oh, now there's a little yacht. You can just see the lights. I don't know if you can make the little yacht thing out at all. I suppose I could turn my light on. I don't... See what's up the end here. That's uh... See, it looks lovely at night, but obviously I, I guess the video's not going to be doing it any justice. All the lights look really nice off in the distance. Oh. And there's the uh, whatever it is. I'll have to read up on it. I can stop a minute and change my glasses while I'm stopped. Yeah, I'm going, to, I'm going to try some food, some local food tomorrow, Samantha. That was the plan. I just like I'm like really tired after the travelling today, so I thought well, McDonald's was just a nice safe option for the to go to bed on. I can't believe we had pizza in uh, in the Netherlands yesterday. That was very local. <laughs> but there you go. Hello. Oh, Thank you. There's one ticket on board. Right, let's have a look at this. It spins as well. It's kind of nice. That's nice. It's Halloween. Got Halloween noises. So if the light's better or worse. Anyone's got a clue what that says? I haven't. Oh, you can walk round it too. Oh, there's a ferry coming in, look. That was timing for you. Blinding me. Let's put his headlights on. So that's 
that's obviously what the queue's for, to go on there. So I could have found all this out if I'd have got here earlier than like I should have done. And I've had time to sort some stuff out. But I can't help it if the uh, if the trains are delayed. <laughs> Counting my steps on the step counter, that uh, no. <laughs> Uh, I, I actually ne never do that, to be honest. But I'm doing a few the last few days. I mean, I didn't do much today because I was sat on the train. But uh, yesterday, it wasn't a lot because I just went to the train station, then the funeral, and then to Giza. So I didn't do a lot of walking yesterday. But. Uh, I certainly felt it when I did that, when I went to the cube house in that the other day. I mean, that my hips were absolutely killing me. So I, I really must have uh, done quite a few steps that day. I'm doing a few now as well, so burning off anything I eat, I guess. So that's cool. Yeah, but yeah, the massive queues go on the ferry. I wonder where it's going. Nice to see they're still running, so at least I can get on a boat tomorrow sometime anyway. And the reception doesn't seem too bad here. My Facebook Live has stayed on, so that's good. So it'll obviously be better tomorrow when everybody can see everything. Just seemed a shame not to, to get my phone out while I was walking down there. Even though it's night time and it's not very good to see anything, I guess. Oh, there's a, some sort of steeple thing over there. So I'm obviously going to be spoiled for choice for what to do on my one day here. <laughs> so I think I might just do a bit of research on Google when I get back to the room. Uh, let's see what we can uh, decide to do. back through the same way because I'm going to grab a McDonald's. So I really am getting peckish now. There should be some uh, wonderful scenery tomorrow. I'll, I'll try and get up early, make it a long day. When I woke up at six this morning, couldn't get back off to sleep anyway, so chances are I'll wake up early again tomorrow. I'll jump in the shower and get out and get some scenery, some scenery scene. Interesting, different. Oh, what have we got up here? Oh, 
Uh, there's really not a lot that's going to show up very well. So I think I'm going to go McDonald's, have my uh, have my supper, and go and do a load of Google googling for tomorrow. See what I can come up with for a day out. Right, later guys. Bye for now.